Hey friends, what's going on? Happy, uh, what is today? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, what's going on? It's your girl Mel. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen right outside St. Louis, Missouri. It's 1.30 on Tuesday. I'm going to make this dip with you guys. Pick up Kyla from school. I'm going to go pick up a Secret Santa gift because it's our only night off. It's really crappy weather here in St. Louis. So I want to like get out and get back before the next round of storms come. And then I'm probably going to lay in bed and watch like another chick flick. Kyla and I watched The Notebook the other night. She'd never seen it before. Uh, have you guys seen The Notebook? Do you love it? And do you have any other movies like that that we should watch? I want to know. Um, but anyways, as you guys are popping on, say hey, say hi. If you're catching me on the live, that means you can see the live right there. The big red live button. Drop a one. If you're catching this on the replay, do hashtag future. Let me know where you're coming in from. Um, today is day four of the 12 Days of Christmas cooking series. Do you guys love it so far? Like, are you here? Are you close? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so yesterday we made the haystack candy, right? I didn't have the unsweetened coconut, so we tried it with the granola. What was your opinion? Damn good. Damn good. He's like, it was damn good. He looked at it and he goes, is this, is this lazy keto? And I said, yes. He said, all right, I want to try it. It looks like a brick of shit. I mean, stuff. Right? And I was like, it's good though. So he tried it and he's like, give me more, give me more. And then he's like, oh, we should go give this to the neighbors. We should give them to the neighbors. So it was definitely a win. Not just random neighbors, random neighbors. Random neighbors, neighbors that are also doing the plan. <laughs> so anyways, so that was good. Uh, today we're making a sausage cream cheese dip. Uh, you guys, I actually was introduced to this two years ago at a Super Bowl party. And I was eating it because I was, you know, you stick with like, Lazy keto is about eliminating, right? So you, you stick with the things that are like meats and cheeses and stuff, especially when you're at parties or whatever. And so this was made and I was like, what is that? It's so good. And it's three ingredients. And so I've been making it ever since. And um, now we're going to share, I'm going to share it with you guys. So some of you guys may have already made it. Some of you guys have not. Also, I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a drawing tonight for day one and maybe day two giveaway winners. So it's, it's really, uh, I took on a lot by doing that. So it's taking me a little bit longer to gather all the names for the drawings. Cause you guys are going bananas with your comments and your shares. And I really appreciate that. So if you're new to following me, put new in the comments, but we're doing the 12 days of Christmas cooking series where I'm bringing you guys 12 days of lazy keto sweet, sweet treats and, um, party foods that will help you stay on plan. Okay. And so there's a digital cookbook. If you have not gotten your free copy, make sure you put cookbook in the comments and or send me a message. Um, but we're also doing a giveaway every day for the 12 days. And so you have 24 hours from each video to comment, watch the replay, interact, right? So every time you um, interact and do a question, a response to a question that I ask, you get entered in a drawing and um, somebody's going to win something every day for 12 days. And so... Um, you also get five additional entries for sharing out this video. So we have to be friends and I have to see where you're sharing it out to. For example, uh, yesterday there are 17 shares so far, but I can only see like nine of them because the rest of you guys were not friends and or you're sharing it to somewhere I can't see. So make sure that you guys are following the rules and you have to be friends with me in order to be, um, a winner. Those are the only rules. So, um, today is the sausage cream cheese dip. It's so good, you guys. I'm also going to show you a low-carb uh, chip option. So, when we talk about lazy keto, we're focusing on protein, veggies, fruits, and fats, right? And we want to try to stay away from the bread, pasta, processed foods, and sugars. Now, there's a lot of keto-labeled um, product out at the stores, right? Keto breads low carb chips, low carb tortillas, and all of that stuff is great options for moments like this when you're going to have party food or you're going to go to, you know, a friend's house for a celebration or whatever. These are great options to have. You just want to make sure you don't have them all the time. And so, um, this chip is, uh, something I found last year in 2021 
And um, so anytime we make dips, um, we throw this together to eat with it. So I have found that it doesn't like keep well. So you can't make a whole bunch and then like try to eat them throughout the week. You really kind of just need to make whatever you need for that dip or that party and that's it. Like don't, don't try to make too much. They get soggy and they, um, they just don't taste the best the next day. Okay. So first and foremost, don't forget to say, Hey, say hi. Don't forget to let me know if you need the cookbook, share this out to your friends and family or into your favorite lazy keto groups. And let's get rocking and rolling. So it's three ingredients. You guys, the first thing we're doing is we're browning sausage. So I like to do the hot version of the Jimmy Dean sausage. So you can do whatever kind you want. You can get Jimmy Dean's, you can get whatever's on sale, but you're just going to brown that. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Um, I've preheated the oven. Nope, I have not. We're going to preheat the oven to 400. And while the sausage is browning, this is the lavish bread that I use for chips. Okay. So I've only been able to find this at Walmart. I can't find it anywhere else. Not at the bougie grocery store. I can't find it at Aldi, not at Sam's or Costco or any other grocery store other than Walmart. Okay. So this is what it is. All right. And so it's like a sheet, right, of this. So we like to use this for the grinder sandwich. Have you guys heard of the Lazy Keto grinder sandwich we make? It's so good. If you guys are new, you're in for a treat. We've got so many recipes. But um, this is what I use for that. You can use it for wraps. I use it for chips, all right? So we're going to take avocado oil, all right? So avocado oil. And we're just going to, like... Spread some on the bread, all right? I'm gonna use my fingers to make sure that I coat the whole piece of bread, like so, all the corners and everything, all right? Then we're gonna add some pink Himalayan salt, all right, just some pink salt, all right? And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna use some avocado oil, like so. All right, let me wash my hands really fast. You just wanna like, it doesn't matter how much, you don't wanna use too much, right? But you wanna make sure that it's all coated. Hold on, friends. All right. So then we're going to add pink salt to this side. All right. Then we're gonna take a pizza cutter. The grinders are so good, you guys. We're gonna take a pizza cutter. And we're just going to cut it into like strips, like so. When I, in Walmart, the only place I've been able to find these are in the bread aisle, but like where the Hawaiian rolls are. So it's usually like on an end. You guys know what I'm talking about? Hold on, I need to take that off for just a minute. All right, and then I'll just go this way. So basically just making like chips. You can make them whatever size you want. You can make them as big as you want, as little as you want. You just wanna make sure you cut it before you bake it, okay? So we're gonna put it back on our baking sheet because I haven't done the dishes yet from yesterday. All right. I'm gonna make sure the sausage is doing good. Normally I would drain it, but it doesn't look like it needs to be drained. Is avocado oil better than olive oil? Um, I don't know. Like, I just use avocado oil because when you look at stuff on the internet and you like, um, when you Google like good fats for keto, avocados and avocado oil seems to be on every single list. So I just switched to avocado oil a couple of years ago and that's what I rock and roll with. So I don't necessarily know if it's a better but that's what I use. So, but I'm not above like using olive oil, like if it's cheaper at the store or whatever. But anyways, all right. So we're going to wait for the oven to preheat. We've got our chips ready to go. When we put them in the oven, we're only going to bake them for about four minutes. They go really fast. So four to five minutes is usually like the cutoff. If you leave them in too much longer, they burn really fast. Okay. So you just have to be mindful of that. So here's the sausage. The sausage is cooked. See, there's like no 
grease or anything in there. So I don't know if it's a magic pan or what, but I'm not going to worry about draining it. So then all we're going to do is we're going to add one can of Rotel with green chilies. And we're going to add eight ounces of cream cheese. You're very welcome. You are very welcome. I love this lifestyle. Lazy Keto is uh, amazing. I was able to drop 100 pounds of fat in eight months. Dee was able to drop over 70 pounds. Um, we have been living this lifestyle for three years now, almost four. And uh, it's just a super easy way to follow. And I think that a lot of people get scared when they hear keto. But like lazy keto is about protein, veggies, fruits, and fats. And people are always like, I have to check with my doctor. And I think everyone should check with their doctor if they're worried. But... Don't overthink this. We don't track macros. We don't use food journals. We don't do any of that. We just avoid the food we know we shouldn't have. You know you should have protein. You know you should have vegetables. You know you should have fruit. And then you incorporate some better fats. Eat some nuts. Eat some fish. Cook with avocado oil. Add peanut butter. Heavy whipping cream. Um, you know, stuff like that into your daily routine. And then just stay patient and consistent. I need to buy stocking cream cheese as much as I've been buying it lately for all my recipes. Yeah, you'll like uh, come off and up and down that high. Uh, I usually use a lot of cream cheese like around this time of year or like if there's a holiday or something, but it's not something that we normally have all the time. Um, you can get kind of burnt out on cream cheese pretty fast. Um, a lot of recipes do have it, but a lot of recipes don't. And so like that's another thing is people get really scared and they're like, oh, well, okay, for example, Green bean casserole, all right? So green bean casserole, a bunch of people have started making it. Everybody's raving about green bean casserole. It's really good. It's a great lunch prep. Uh, it tastes good. Kids love it. Family favorite. Comfort food. Nice to warm your insides when it's cold out, right? All the things. But some people are like, oh, well, what can I do instead of green beans? Do another recipe. <laughs> like, you don't have to stick to a green bean casserole if you don't like green beans. There's pepper jack casserole, there's hamburger casserole, there's enchilada casseroles, there's Big Mac casseroles. There's like literally so many recipes out there. Like don't feel like you have to like take something out. Just find a recipe that has what you like in it. That's like what I'll tell you guys. Like don't feel like you have to stick to everything that I say. I just try to give you guys suggestions, but if you don't like green beans, hammer green bean casserole is not going to be for you. Um, okay, so here, this happens all the time, and so I just want to ask, uh, someone is saying that I'm breaking up. Am I breaking up on my end, or am, are you guys fine and it's her? I want to know. Let me know. Let me know if, uh, if it's a me problem or a you problem. <laughs> Because I feel like whenever I get, like, I know when my internet's breaking up. My face gets all glitchy like a, like a filter. Uh, my phone shuts down. And so, like, I know usually when it's on my end. But some of you guys, like, yell at me. I can't hear you. And I'm like, I don't think it's me, though. Okay, I'm good. So, yeah, I think that was you. You know, I don't want to call out your name. But, um, Yeah. So anyways, we've got the cream cheese, the rotel, and the sausage, and we're just like trying to cook it soft, gently, gently, slowly, I don't know. You just wanna make sure that all the sausage is combined well. So that's what we're doing right now, is we're just slowly making sure everything is mixing together well. This is such a good dip. You can also put it in the crock pot. So people do that as well. I th actually think that's how this person had made it was by putting it in the crock pot or it was that's how she transported it or something so you could make it on the stove and then put it in the crock pot to like heat up and transport to your party but everybody likes this everybody kids like it everybody like it I love this dip we make it weekly here I know it's so good okay so here's the the lavish bread so we're gonna put this in the oven for I'm gonna do four minutes and 30 seconds I want to show you guys how quickly it bakes, okay? We're just going to do four, four minutes, and we'll go from there. I'm back. The video just went black for a few minutes. I think that was a year on your end, too. 
We had somebody else say they were having issues, but I don't think that's me. There's no rain right now. It's kind of cloudy. No kids are here sucking up the internet. Dee's not even on a call right now. There's no issues with the internet on my end. Sometimes when everybody's on it, on multiple devices, that's when it starts to get a little crazy. Okay, does the lavish bread freeze well? I don't know. It's like under $3 to buy this right here. Um, it's got four pieces of bread. So it doesn't expire until January. So like when I buy something like that, I will make sure that the food I eat throughout the remainder of the month somehow includes that. So whether it's making chips for a party or like a work thing, if you have a work party, you know, make some chips, take it in, use a grinder sandwich, make a wrap. Um, there's lots of different options. So like when you buy it, um, definitely make sure that you have a plan for it so you don't waste it. Have I announced the winner from day one? No, that's going to be tonight. So I was telling everybody at the beginning, I, I kind of bit off more than I could chew. So there's so many comments and so many chairs, shares, but I have to double check to make sure that everyone entered is Facebook friends with mine and are sharing it to things I can see. So literally we have to go through every comment. <laughs> And a lot of you guys have multiple comments, and so that's really good. Uh, but I think we've got a good system down now. I have my assistant helping me now. I was like, I need help with this. Um, so she's got all the day one names ready to go, and she's working on day two. So I'm going to try to do two winners tonight, and then tomorrow we'll do day three. So it's coming. It's coming. I promise. Um, perfect. Okay. So you guys see this? Isn't this going to look good? You just want to make sure it's all combined. You kind of let it bubble for a little bit and then it's ready to go. Chips will be done in two minutes. I'll show you guys what that looks like and we'll go from there. So a grinder sandwich is, I kind of heard that it's like a big thing on the East Coast. Um, it's like deli meat and cheese, like a hot sandwich. And you use lettuce and tomato and onion. And then there's like this special sauce that I found at Walmart that's really good. And you use a little bit of vinegar. Mix it all up so it's like a little salad on top of the meat that's warmed. And then you wrap it um, in half of this bread. And then you pan fry it in some oil to kind of crisp up the edges. It's so good. And then we normally have that for lunch. And then we would usually have the leftovers for dinner. It's so good. We probably need to make that. We probably need to make that soon. They get it in frozen. I asked the workers in the deli and they pull some from the back and it was frozen. Oh, cool. Yeah, so some people know. I do not know. I uh, I just roll with it. Going to use cut to car bread sounds so good. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I actually also have it in the recipe group. It's grinder sandwich and or you can search like on Facebook, put grinder sandwich Mel Humphrey and it'll pull up my video with the recipe. It's so easy. Like anytime you guys are looking for any of my recipes, you can go to the group or on Facebook, just in the search engine, put whatever recipe you're looking for and then follow it with Mel Humphrey. Click on the little post option and it'll show all the posts that I've made to it. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay. We need to make it again. Was typing as you called out to the, <laughs> yeah. I know, we do need to make it again. Okay, so look. So it's just turning great. See? See how it's like toasted just right? Yeah. And so then these will be our chips. Now, I think, I think we probably need to put them in for like another minute. It's going to go so fast though. <laughs> One more minute. That's not the mailman, is it? No. Okay. Um, I'll show you guys. What kind of pan is that? What kind of pan? Is this or that? I don't know. Or go to your, oh yeah. <laughs> or go to my YouTube channel. And uh, Pinterest will be up and rocking and rolling soon too. We, we're getting that rocking and rolling as well. So it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's so good though. I highly recommend everybody try the grinder sandwich and or grinder salad. It's good. But you got to get that sauce. The sauce is like what makes it. And um, the only place I found it so far is Walmart. But I'm sure you can order it online too. For sure. Cool. Do you guys have any other questions while I'm on here? Oh, the frying pan? I don't recommend it. It sucks. It's from TJ Maxx. It's, what's it called? 
<laughs> I don't even know what it's called. The whole set, the whole set is trash. POS. It's D says it's POS. Uh, so this, oh yeah, look. See this? See the chips? They're good. Um, I'm going to let them cool and then I'll show you how crispy they are. So like, look. This is the one of the pans. It's I got I got old eyes. Hold on. Masterclass. Masterclass from TJ Maxx. Absolutely horrible. This is the pots. These things turn hot. So like this has a protective coat on it, but like these are hot. So if you boil some noodles or like if the kids boil some noodles and then they go to like grab the pan to dump their water out and strain the noodles. These things are just as hot as the bottom. They're so, they suck so bad. And I need to get new ones, but Dee likes to yell at me every time he burns his hands to remind me that they were an awful purchase. <laughs> you guys, they're awful. I do not recommend them. They are from TJ Maxx and they are not good. All right. So look. See? Crispy. They have like hardly any flavor. They're just kind of salty because of the salt. But if you need that crunch, they're perfect. Hear that? It's great. So, you can either eat this as a dip, like this. You want to hear that crunch again? I'm going to get really close. Oh my god. And, and you need to let them know that Dustin's not a neat food. It's he so doesn't hot. burn himself every time. He has yeah. to get out potholders every time. Yeah, he says he wants me to tell you guys that it's not dumb. <laughs> that he actually doesn't burn himself anymore. Um, but yeah, so you can eat this with lavish bread. You can make a burrito with it. So it's really good as a burrito. Or you can just make a bowl of it and you can eat it as is. Now, if you have people in your family that don't care about lazy keto they can also use the like regular tortilla chips so i add cheese to the lavish bread and toast it like cheese it's oh that's really good yeah so anyways this is the dip so this is the sausage cream cheese dip that's in the recipe book and that's what we did today for day four of the 12 days of christmas cooking series you guys, it's really, really good. So if you guys make any of these, let me know as well. You have until basically 2 o'clock tomorrow to watch the replay on this, to interact with the video, to share this out to your friends and family, to your favorite keto groups, to get your entries in for the giveaway for uh, day four. I know. I actually might have a burrito. Actually. <laughs> that sounds really good. Um, but anyways, I'm going to jump off here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, stay safe out there because I know there's crazy weather from Texas all the way up to Missouri, possibly into Illinois. Um, so just lots of like crazy weather right now. Just be careful out there. Um, and if you guys need anything, just let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.